What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Lynette. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Stanley. Back with Life With Us TV, Have and Have Nats Review, episode 18, called Quincy Jr. Quincy Jr. We're going to get right on into it because it ain't a lot to this. Yeah. Thing, but we're just going to go ahead and go on into it. Um, We start back off where we left off at last week where Benny, no, I don't know if I'm my train of thought, Benny <laughs> has found little Quincy, brought him home to his mama. So Hannah grandma. goes over. Yeah, to, well, I said to his mama. Okay. The baby's grandma, but yeah. his mama. <laughs> Starting off wrong already. Yeah, off the wrong foot already. Um, so Hannah goes to get a little boy a hug, and the little boy's like, ouch, ouch, ouch. ouch. And come to find out, they lift up his shirt, and the boy has welts, bruises, all kinds of stuff going on on his back. Um, little boy don't want to go to the doctor because he has been programmed yes. to say, Doctors are bad mm -hmm. and police are police bad. Are don't bad. don't talk to them. So, yeah. <laughs> so Hannah runs into her room and starts praying and crying and all of that good stuff. And you know, nephew and uncle having a little heart to heart conversation mm -hmm. about how we gonna get you some help, but we you gotta tell the doctors what's going on. Yeah. Then they switch to a scene where Quint. Why he want to call Benny Quincy? I don't know why. Because they've been fighting. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but Benny goes into the room where Hannah is, and he starts crying. If y'all don't know anything about me by now, if I see a man cry, it's over for me. Tore up from the floor. I get to crying with him. I don't even know what they're crying about. <laughs> so that scene right there had me a little jerked up. A little jerked up. Had you all twisted up in had the game? Had me all twisted up in the game. So we switch over to the scene where... Candace and Oscar, you know, they're in New York. And someone knocks on the door and they just say, come in. Who does that? You're yeah. half naked. But anyway. But anyway. Um, says so someone ordered a bowl of uncooked rice. Oscar's like, that's what like the heck weird. is this? It's like somebody getting married. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's like somebody getting married and we don't know anything about Well, <laughs> Tyler did a slick trick of putting the old rice and cell phone trick in there, yeah. which does work. It I've does done work. it. I've had to do it and it does work. Yeah, so if you in the bathroom and you drop your phone in the toilet. In the I don't know who in the tub. In the toilet. <laughs> Put it in some rice. Put it in some rice. <laughs> and it, it'll soak the water out. Yeah. Now you can't have it submerged in doing all that. Not this saying stuff. I know who dropped their phone in the toilet, but just put it in some rice. It's storming out here, so don't pass no mind. <laughs> um so Oscar, he's all up in Candace's head once again. Like mm -hmm. Play he has been player. able to crack the code on this nut. Yeah. And get all up in her stuff, her daddy issues, all of this stuff, and she gets to crying. Mm -hmm. And he pretty much told her, whenever you start to feel something, you run. She do. Which is true. She takes off. So, I mean, she couldn't yeah. say anything. Um, so we go back to this hospital scene where Hanny, Hannah. Hanny? <laughs> Y'all can tell how hey, tired I am. Hanny. We've just come from our vacation, funerals, all kinds of stuff. So y'all got to forgive me. But Hannah notices Benny's hands, which I didn't even notice his hands. Yeah, so I, I guess it him. was for her eyes only because I ain't seen nothing wrong with his hands. Yeah. But um, she's like, what happened? He blows her off. He said something. I don't even remember what he said. But do you know what he, he said? He put him on Oh, he said yeah. it was on a toe. Yeah, it was on a toe. She she know that was Yeah. Old. So she's pretty much like... I hate when you lie to me. Mm -hmm. You need to tell me what's really going on. So, in so many words, he was like, I found Quincy. I bailed him out of jail. And I beat him up. Mm -hmm. Straight up. And he goes in his spill about, you raised yeah. a warrior. Don't you ever worry about me. <laughs> yeah. um, and she was like, Quincy is going to hurt you. He is going to come after you mm -hmm. and hurt you. And he was like, he already has. When he hurts my sister, mm -hmm. you, and that baby, he's hurting me. So in other words, he's like, this is this mess is personal. Yeah, and Ben had been on a warpath all season. Right. He'd been turned up in every episode. It's like, he'd be on something. I don't know, we to the part when Quincy came. Not yet. We ain't gotten that part. Now. But yeah, he'd been, he been, he been straight up. But I can appreciate him stepping up. Um, to be the man, cause I don't, I don't, I don't, I didn't see another way for him to get Quincy Jr. back, no. other than taking, taking those, it by those, force. yeah, taking it by force, because it seemed like 
they had been searching for him for years yeah. and couldn't find him. So it's like Quincy wasn't about to say, yeah, he's here, he right here. He had to beat it out of him. All so, my life I had to fight. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so this whole time that um, they're in the hospital, Benny has been trying to get in touch with his sister, but we all know she dropped the phone in the bathtub, so she can't get no phone calls or whatever. Got it. So, go to the scene with Catherine. She's sitting outside on the lanai. She's been, like, spending the night on the lanai. Yeah. But she's crying and crying and crying. Jim is coming out there sarcastically. Good book. She should have knocked his tail out Oof. at that moment. But she was like, I've been reading Amanda's diary, and Nine was right. She was raped. And I'm like, how many times are we going to confirm yeah, we, this? Like, we already know she was raped. We know We've that. confirmed this, like, on three episodes. Yeah, we know that. Duh. So then they went further, which I was like, woo, because I'm like, am I the crazy one? Yeah. So she was like, but what Nine didn't know was Amanda stalked him, and she stabbed him. Mm-hmm. Catherine said, let's hang this son of a bitch. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that because... I don't like that term. Bec- well, now that I'm talking about him getting stabbed. Because y'all know the episode where I Amanda know. stabbed him. We just got left on that cliffhanger. So we had never found out whether he died, got help, passed out. Is he still teaching? And so this episode, we pop up, he's here. Yeah. So it's like, we don't know what happened after he got stabbed. Like this whole time he could have been dead. Yeah. We so, didn't know. God, I thought he was dead. I thought a man to kill him, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, ran off at the park bleeding. Yeah. No. I mean, no hospital. I mean, I don't know. Eeny, meeny, money, mo. Eeny, meeny, money. I do miss <laughs> Amanda, though. Yeah. They should never killed her off. I know. She must have had a job or something. Yeah. Job. Paying a little bit more chick change. Yeah. She doing a little something strange for a little bit more change. She already did it for a break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, so come to find out that Lil Quincy has fractured ribs, whole bunch of infections, and um, the social worker, because we all know how this works. That's why people don't like to take their kids to the doctor or to the hospital when they have a little banging bruise, because all of a sudden, child welfare mm-hmm. and the police are involved. And they think you did it. And they think you did it. Automatically, you did it. So... Bennett was like, we shouldn't have never brought him here. And the woman was like, either you was going to bring him here or you're going to be burning it, babe, because that infection would have killed him. I was like, dog. what? What? In my mind, like, what happened to make a kid get an infection so bad yeah. that they can die from it? Like, yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't yeah. know what that is, but. But that I'm was glad crazy. they took him to the hospital, though. Yeah. Yeah. So then they start talking about pressing charges against Benny and Hannah for like, child whoa, abuse. Whoa, 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 whoa. Which already goes into the stigma of that's why people don't take their kids to the doctor for every little thing. Mm-hmm. Which can be harmful in some ways because the kid, kids bust themselves up all the time. All the time. I have no idea. I used to bust my knees, elbows, my head. Just I mean, kids yeah. being kids. But yeah, I mean, that happened to my mom. My brother fell through the china closet. He, oh, yeah? Yeah. Dang that it. big scar on his chest. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, darn. Uh, he, he jumped, he climbed up in a chair and the chair flipped and threw him into a glass china cabinet and cut all this up and my mom nearly almost went to jail Dad. and until they you know really realized that he it was a freak accident and he dang. had to get stitches across the bottom of his his own chin oh dang so mm. anyway personal um note um we go to jeffrey i've been forgetting about poor jeffrey but jeffrey has been trying to get into his apartment door yeah, he was like, and he can't get in the door. <laughs> and he's jingle, 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 and the door opens up, and there is Melissa. Melissa. He's like, "What you doing here in my apartment?" She said, "This is this is my, my apartment, apartment. <laughs> but, you can, but you can stay with me." Yeah. So he walks in. He's like, "Where's my furniture? Oh, your mom got everything moved out. Everything moved out. And she sent me on a shopping spree to fill it up with stuff of my taste." And she put this place in my name. Just when you think that wench can do no more harm. And she's doing all of this because of his lifestyle. Because he chooses to be gay. I, that, that's no excuse to treat nobody like that. No. If that is what he want to do and that's the way he want to live. Let him be. Let him do that. That's not affecting you. 
Right. Well, they she Kyra. thinking that it's gonna affect them as far as the campaign and all that stuff. Everything ain't about campaigns. Yeah, but everything ain't about campaigns. Everything ain't about you. But they don't. She don't took the boy apartment. Not, oh. Yeah, put it in the girl name and told her, well he can stay with you. So Melissa was like, look, a man can't give you what I can give you. I already got one up on a man because yes. I can give you. I got this baby that's <laughs> on the way. So we're gonna live in this house. You gonna smile, suck it up. Because I got to pay my parents' bills, and I love them just as much as you love your parents. Jeffrey was like, hold up. Oh. That's what we wrote. We different at. Yeah. <laughs> Jeffrey wanted to say, I don't like her. Uh, I don't like her at all. He can't stand her now. He probably did yeah. hate about it at this point. So Melissa was like, I know that you would say that you wouldn't leave her. So she passes him the newspaper. This wench has announced Melissa and Jeffrey's engagement in the got doing news. In the got doing paper. I don't know if y'all heard that thunder or not. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's thunder. That's the storm cloud, Jedi. Yeah. We got the natural storm cloud on that one. Yes. <laughs> Her spirit is resting in a body. Yeah. Perfect time. Oh my God. Perfect time. So we switch over to the jail scene when Wyatt is in jail going crazy. He's sitting up there. He got snot coming out of his nose. He's sweating. <laughs> Poor Wyatt. Poor Wyatt. I'm and sorry, Norman. Norman. <laughs> so, I noticed that his cellmate wasn't in there, and I was hoping they would address it. And they finally did at the end, but he has a visitor. None other than his evil parents. Yes. Wyatt, at this point, is like, I'm not even talking to Jesus. My lips are sealed. I ain't hit no little girl. What girl? Uh, yeah, what girl? I don't what even girl? know nobody. I, I just want to get out. They terrible in here. Yeah, he was like, I got to go. You could see the fear in his eyes. Yeah, so he was like, please get me out here. Mama, tell daddy to let me out. Da, 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 da. Said, and Jim was like, are you ready? He said, I think you're ready. Then Jim said, nah, nah. <laughs> you ain't ready yet. <laughs> he sent that boy back into the lion's den yes. one more time. <laughs> He got him ready with him now. He got him ready in the palm of his hand. Yep. I bet you when he go get out of there, I bet he gonna keep his mouth shut. Yep. Yep. So we're back at the hospital again. I don't know why I'm doing this. We're living at the hospital in yeah. this episode. Well, they're questioning Lil Quince. Lil Quince got a smart got no mouth. Yeah. I like him though. He's a cute little chocolate little baby. I mm -hmm. love him. <laughs> but he got a smart mouth. And the police officers asking him questions. He was like, well, why don't you do that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, my grandparents, my grandma loves me, my uncle loves me. Who did this to you? Nobody. Who do you be living with? Mm. Mm. Who you play with? My cousins. <laughs> said, I'm thirsty. Why don't you go get me some water? She said, I will. So go ahead and do that. I said, you about to have another broken rib. And I think everybody knew a child that's like that. Just, just, just one. smart for no reason. <laughs> Maybe something. Just smart for no yeah. reason. And you, and you just, you just want to just like choke them. one 800 just shake them. One time, but sure. you don't want to go jail. Yep. So roll camera. As they're in there talking to Lil Quince, of course, Hannah and Betty are sitting in the waiting room because they can't be in there at the same time. Quince come strolling through the door. Come stumbling in the emergency, <laughs> limping. <laughs> Have y'all ever watched The Hitchhiker? Well, he said, "Hey, lady, thanks. Thanks for the ride, lady." <laughs> Y'all gotta be old school to know what that is. Yeah. But he come in there looking like that thing. Thanks for the ride, lady. <laughs> and they nearly have a heart attack, asthma attack, and rage in the whole same emotion. Yeah. Benny sitting there. Even Hannah was a little turked up. Benny said. I was like, back down, Pitbull. Said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Back let down. Me. I said, let him back go. Down. Let him go. Said, back down, Pitbull. <laughs> Then we switch over to the scene where the criers have rolled up on Professor Cannon. Mm -hmm. Finally! Like thugs. Rolled I said, up. okay, finally. Yeah, they question his hind so parts down. They question his hind parts down. And he's sticking to script. He's mm -hmm. like not breaking. Yeah. Was that thunder? I don't know. I don't know if it was thunder or gunshot. A real camera. Anyway, we loaded. Um, so. Cannon is just like in in Rome. Like, okay, y'all knew she had mental illness. I heard about it. Blah 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 blah. So Jim grabs him by the yep. 
in that daggone stab wound. And he starts buckling. He said, oh, an old sports injury? Oh, uh-huh. and, ah! He started spilling the whole beans. I didn't yeah. know she wasn't an escort. I thought she was like the other girl. And Candace told you all of this. So, he, I mean, he's just spilling it all. But don't y'all notice that Jim stays in judge mode? He never, he's never in normal person mode. Yeah, yeah. That's so, true. He walk up to him, ask them questions that you would get asked in court. Right. No, the question they'll ask you to see if you're gonna tell a lie or if you're gonna tell the truth, and they already know the answer. Mm-hmm. He stay in that mode. Y'all, y'all ever notice that? He He's, does. Yeah, he stay in that mode. And that superior, yeah. I got all the answers, and you're gonna tell me what I need to hear. Mm-hmm. Yep. Roll camera. But uh, he proceeds to beat him down. Beat him down. Beat him down. They did a little slow motion action on you to make it a little bit more dramatic than what it was. Yeah, did a little Debo on him. And then um, Catherine, the pit bull that she is, is like, not like this. Not like this. I don't understand what that meant, though. I'm like, you're already beating a man in public. People on the campus is looking. He got a campaign thing going on in the morning. What's really happening? So what they, they must go send the, uh, which, what's them jokers? The, them jokers that got Candace? <laughs> I get the Malones. The Malones. She must gonna send the Malones after and torture them to death. But um, we'll see. Oscar comes back into the hotel. I don't know where he been, but there's roses everywhere. Mm-hmm. I mean, roses. It, it reminded me of the scene of Empire where he got Anthony Hamilton to seduce. Yeah. Um, I can't remember her name now. So he could propose to her. That's what it mm-hmm. reminded me of. So she's up in the bed. He's like, "You ain't even been up." You need to get your tail up. Get then up. her cell phone starts ringing. He's like, "The rice worked." Mm-hmm. <laughs> and pretty much at the end of this scene was, they're trying to get in touch with Candace because they can rest send that boy to a foster parent because Hannah's not his foster parent. Benny yeah. is just the uncle, and he's pretty much been orphaned. Yeah. And she got a short window to get there. Yeah, so thank God she's with a rich dude that has his own plane. Yeah, so she can get there in a few hours. So he says, I'm going to call to get the jet fueled up. Mm-hmm. And we're coming from New York. Yep. And go ahead to Atlanta. And we're going to rescue your baby. But in the meantime, Candace was like, can I talk to my baby? And they have a moment. And he's like, Mommy, please, you going to come get me? And she's like, I'm going to come get you. He said, I don't want to live with my daddy no more. Please come mm-hmm. and get me. I said, oh... But that's basically it. This that's is it. probably the shortest review we've ever done because yeah, it's, it's a lot of setup. Yeah. Then tonight was still another mellow right episode. We haven't got back on that high yet, so uh, this is what like the third mellow episode. Yeah. Oh, but I did forget to tell y'all that at the end, end, end of this, why it gets another cellmate. Oh yeah, Debo. And the guy is like, yeah. what's your name? <laughs> he said, my name Norman. He said, uh-huh. I made him for murder. What kind of guy runs over a little girl? So he pretty much tells him, get on your knees. And Why he's dramatic it? behind that. Why is it? No. 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 Tyler play too much because I'm really over these dramatic and explicit yeah. sex jail scenes. <laughs> but that was basically it. Yeah, that was but it, y'all. The next preview kind of confirmed some of the stuff that I was thinking. I don't think that Wyatt is as safe as his daddy thinks he is. You don't think so? And David kind of said it. He said, you need to get that boy out of there because something is telling me he not as safe as you think he is. Hmm. So I'm thinking that some of these people that he's encountering are are real inmates. 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 Oh boy. We shall see. But we will see. So until next time you guys, straight from the VA. Make sure you like, share, yes, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Tell all your friends about Stanley and Lynette on Life With Us TV. And I have a question for y'all before we go. I've been oh, asking my wife this question. Would y'all rather for us to have our reviews on a separate channel than our vlog channel? Or do you like it with mixed in with all our vlogs? I don't care. So let us know because we're going to make sure we're making it easier for you all. Because some of y'all might not be into the regular vlogs. You just might, you just, might just love reviews. And that's all you want to see. But let us know that in the comments field. Straight from the VA. The Dirty South, y'all. Two up. Two down. Two down. Holla.